पीएम ऑल्सो हैव सेड जान है तो जहां है सून आफ्टर अनाउंसिंग द लॉकडाउन वी हेड कम विद पी एम गरीब कल्याण पैकेज इन ऑर्डर टू इमीडिएटली रीच आउट टू दोज हु वॉन्टेड फूड हु नीड फूड वी वेर नॉट डूइंग अ फेवर टू दम इट वॉज आर ड्यूटी सो वी क्विकली वेंट एन टू गिव नेक्स्ट थ्री मंथस द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ ग्रेन्स एज पर द पी डी एस प्लस फ्री ग्रेन्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज वी डिट वॉन्ट एन टू स्काउट फॉर मनी टू गो एंड सर्च फॉर ग्रेन्स pulses were also given for 3 months in advance and here i would want to say a word in appreciation of the efforts that the food corporation of india nafed and the state comes all together put in facing the logistics challenge that this post up front giving all the grains and the pulses as promised to everybody who needed it as per the cards in every nook and corner of the country it was a logistic challenge although the fci and the nafed and the state governments are quite adept at doing it but all at one go up front was a major uh, issue because huge quantities had to go but not withstanding the lockdown i again want to say the fci the nafed and the state governments all came into the picture made sure that quantity of grains were lifted and gave them the workers who couldn't travel back who actually could procure the grains from their carts but there were also workers who couldn't go back to their homes who stayed in the camps because pm had very clearly said early in one of his early messages stay where you are and state governments ensured that they prepared meal ngos participated in this charitable organizations also made sure that these workers who are not able to go back home are attended to many employers also kept their workers in their own premises and gave them food and place to be the pm garib kalyan used the technology available and therefore was able to do direct benefit transfer of cash for the various categories i just want want to quote some of these numbers now before i begin today's issue because of the size of what is shown in these figures the number of people to whom directly to their accounts money could reach because technology direct benefit transfer technology was in time adopted and implemented with such missionary zeal over the last 4 years otherwise this wouldn't have been possible at all pm kisan beneficiaries as of 16th may i'm strictly talking about the announcements and their impact one time transfer of 2000 crores or uh, 2000 rupees each has reached 8.19 crore farms and that amount is about 16394 crores nsap beneficiary the old age and others first installment 2.812 crores of people uh, sorry uh, 1405 crores of rupees in the first installment again 1402 in the second installment the target was to give away 3000 crores and that's almost nearly achieved jan dhan account holding women under the pm garib kalyan were credited into 20 crore people's accounts 
and that amounts to 10,025 crores of rupees. The building and construction workers received their financial support amounting to 3,950.35 crores and their number, the building and construction workers number is 2.20 crores. Imagine each one of these numbers and their implication in terms of size and all of them received the money directly into their accounts purely because DBT was possible. 6.81 Ujjwala Yojana cylinders have reached the beneficiaries and they were free cylinders because we had promised up to three cylinders in those three months. To over 12 lakhs of EPFO Members have benefited by the online withdrawal of non-refundable advance and that amounts to 3,660 crores. So I can further go with the numbers, but just to highlight what the technology-driven DBT has given us at a time of emergency, a pandemic. And that is something which I want to draw your attention to. We immediately responded by giving food grains, cooking gas, cash where it was required and immediately that is. And most of them were front loaded also. When the lockdown got extended, free grains and dal was also given for a further two months more. Free grains and dal was also given for two months more. And when it was really possible to have the workers go from the camps that they were in to their respective villages, trains were allowed, and state governments were requested to request for trains from the various stations that they wanted so that once they brought the workers into that area to that station from that station they could be taken to their respective states the cost of this travel 85 percent of it was borne by the central government The rest is 15% was with the state governments, 85% was borne by the central government. During the travel in the train, food was also given to the workers. So why, why am I elaborating all this? Just because, remember, Jaan hai to jahan hai. So immediately to make sure that the lives are given the first priority and attention, we ensured that this was extended. But now, it is important also to provide every support when in a changed post-COVID era, livelihoods will also have to come into their, their fullest play. So when the lockdown gets lifted and when businesses after facing severe stressful conditions of business will be coming back to say can I start my work back again can I uh, get my workers back or do I have the money to buy the raw materials is it enough for me to pay the wages which is due all kinds of considerations are going to come up and many of them may also wonder if they were reaching a stage of bankruptcy so all this has been kept in mind when we are addressing the issues of land, labor, liquidity and the laws. So today, and like the days earlier, the four days earlier, our attempt is to make sure that like the way we gave in PM Garib Kalyan, 
we attend to John, but also make sure that environment is all right. Now for everybody to start protecting their work, their uh, businesses, their homes and everything else. Today, I have seven such steps to tell you and the order in which I'm saying them are the first one is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee uh, Scheme. Second is on health and uh, both in rural and urban and together with it I put an uh, during the COVID period education related um, steps that have been taken so that's a second. Third is on businesses and COVID. Fourth is on decriminalization of the Companies Act. Fourth, uh, fifth is talking about ease of doing business and related matters. Sixth is on public sector enterprises related matters and the policy thereof. Seventh, state governments and resources related to state governments. So these will be my, these are the steps which we are taking, seven of them under these headings. And the last of course, will, I will be coming to tell you about the 20 lakhs.